guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have Zena with me. Hi. Um, today we've decided to share my lovely recipe on how I make fair Russia cheesecake and Zena's going to join me in the kitchen. The lovely old fair Russia. 12 fair Russia's we need for this recipe to go into our mixture. We need a tin. I usually use an 8x8 square tin. Um, a blender to blend our biscuits scales to weigh out our ingredients and also whisk to whisk up some ingredients we have my icing sugar here which i just like to put in a bpa free tub some vanilla essence yes. which i bought off amazon some digesters which we're going to blend first and then our some um butter fluff uh, is for cakes yeah, what we're going to do with the butter, we're going to take the biscuits and the butter and we're going to mix them together to make the uh, base. And then you need two double um, cream cups. We're going to need about 300 double cream. This does say it's 300 ml, but it's actually not. It's usually less than 300 ml, so I pick up two. We need 500 grams cream of cream, full fat cream cheese, 300 grams of digestives, one tablespoon of vanilla essence, 100 grams of icing sugar, 300 grams of lovely old Nutella spread, <laughs> and baking parchment baking sheets just to line. The what I normally see with the butter and what I found over making this um, mixture quite a few times is if you're going to have about 300 grams of digestive biscuits crushed, you will need about, I would say, mm, 182 close to 200 grams of um, butter melted. I'm going to use some parchment baking sheet and these sheets come ready cut, saving us time and effort. Zeb is just lining the tin. I'm just lining the tin with water. Like greasing the pan. I'm going to try and get the parachment into the corners as much as possible. That's where I like it to go. And if there's any leftover, I like to press it in place. For some reason, this one's messing around with me today. I've done an absolutely brilliant job as in terms of lining the tin. But the parachment doesn't want to listen. It's all lined. As you can see, it's all lined, completely lined now. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take 300 grams of digestives. Digestive biscuits. Digestive biscuits. Plain biscuits. Yeah, the original flavour. And we're going to pop that into my lovely blender here. And we're going to weigh 180 grams of this butter. And we're, we're going to melt it in the microwave. Sorry you can't see my face. What I like to do normally is I like to place whatever item I'm about to weigh into onto my scales. So for this reason it's gone to zero right now. And yeah, I'll see you in a moment. into a bowl and now I'm currently just weighing out about 180 grams of butter to be melted in the microwave so what we're going to do we're going to melt this in the microwave so you want your butter to be completely melted um, before you actually start mixing the two together as you can see I want it literally dropping in the butter is just flooding it's all melted now what you want to do, you just want to start bringing the mixture together. You just mix it, like fold it. Yeah, fold it together. 
as you can see, it's all together. Next, I'm going to transfer this mixture into the 8 by 8 tin. tin. And then what you're going to do, you're going to press it in, in to, right, the to the corners. You want it one level as much as possible. I like to do use the back of a spoon. Should be something like that. And that is literally your base done. It's literally taking you about five minutes maximum. Five minutes maximum. To do that, and this is now going to sit in the fridge for as long as possible. This in the freezer for as long as you can. Fridge, huh? fridge. Yeah, in the fridge. You said the freezer. Oh. I'm gonna go back. You're gonna have a separate bowl. Different. Back to zero. And now you're gonna weigh out 500 grams of Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay. 500 grams of Philadelphia cream cheese. I like to leave the cream cheese out um, so it's at room temperature so then it's easier and it's a lot softer to manoeuvre.
Pop 12 Fairy Rush. And we have a new addition to our kitchen today, guys. We have Sardamid. Oh. It's fast ever. First ever time making a fairy rush of cheesecake. Or any cheesecake, in fact. <laughs> well, there's always a first time. First time for everything. Yeah. And this is the... And that is done. Well, no. Can we eat these? Yeah. We need them for decor. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we've got our 12 fair rasher here. We're going to chop them up into quarters and then we're going to put them into the bowl. And then we are going to use the electric mixer to mix all of it up. I'm sure she'll taste test it, won't you? Yeah. Now what you're going to do, you're going to spoon up this mixture on top of your biscuit base that you had put mm -hmm. in the fridge earlier. Mm -hmm. That's our biscuit base mm -hmm. at the moment. Base. I'm just going to grab a tablespoon and I'm just going to dollop it straight in. Spoon the mixture into the corners on an even distribution. Now this is going to sit in the fridge till E day and on E day I'll decorate it before um, serving it. So that's when you'll see the finished item. video please don't forget to subscribe like and turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified whenever we post a brand new video <laughs>